welcome to Basic Brewing Video. I'm James Spencer. I'm Steve Wilkes. Now, it's been a while since I was out there and did something really wacky and experimental. Uh, cast your mind back in Basic Brewing Radio, where we were talking in uh, our, uh, our, one of our fruit tincture episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, I gave you a little slice of, a tiny slice of, of lemon custard pie before right. we started recording. And at the end of the episode, you said, you said, I bet you could make a, a beer based on lemon custard pie right. and using tinctures. And so I, I took, kind of took your thoughts and mm -hmm. put them into a six pack recipe. This That's is amazing. only like a one gallon batch. This is just the, you know, this is the first, when you're developing so a new idea, when you're developing a new idea, right. You start with something, right. and maybe it's going to be near the target. Maybe it's going to be back behind the hedges. <laughs> you know, I think naming this Edsel was probably not a good idea. <laughs> Corvair. <laughs> it's un unsafe at any time. Hey, I, had a, I had a buddy that had a Corvair in high school. And <laughs> Rest in peace. Well, we drove that thing around a lot. <laughs> Ralph Nader chasing you. Okay, we're showing our age. Okay. All right. So this is the custard pie. Lemon custard pie. Well, yes, it'll eventually become the lemon, lemon custard pie. Okay. Uh, so here we go. This is a six pack batch. Uh, so it's about three quarts or three liters, somewhere around there. Okay. So I started off with five quarts of water at 164 degrees Fahrenheit or 4.7 liters at 75 C. And to that I added two pounds or 900 grams of American two row three ounces or 85 grams of Brees Special Roast. And so I, I mixed that in. I mashed in a preheated oven at 153 degrees Fahrenheit or 67C for one hour. I collected my wort. I added two ounces or 56 grams of lactose or milk sugar. And then at the beginning of a 30 minute boil, I added seven grams of Holler Tower Middle Fruer at 2.8% alpha acid. Uh, like I say, I boiled for 30 minutes, I chilled in an ice bath, I racked into a jug, and added three grams of Safale USO5. So that's it. I started out at uh, 1088, <laughs> final gravity of 1018, for an ABV of 9.3%. <laughs> so. Number one. Okay. <laughs> it's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's not small. No, no, no. <laughs> so, I haven't tasted, I tasted a bottling and I was like, huh, that's interesting. I had some thoughts. But it, uh, it's been uh, bottled on the 26th of uh, April. April. Now it's May 10th. So Now tell me again about the lemon. My mind was wandering. Well, the lemon is here. I made a tincture using half, an ounce, half a cup of vodka with the zest from a lemon. Okay. I was gonna, I was gonna put, this, put the tincture in the beer at bottling time. Frankly, I forgot, but, <laughs> but, but we can uh, so we're sam tincture it up. We'll tincture it after we, after okay, we sample. Okay, okay. So right. we'll, we'll sample and then we'll tincture. So oh, this, that's a good, that's a good, uh, they have uh, fizz or schwitz. So or this, has no, this has no lemon in it. No lemon in it. It's no just a beer. No lemon. No lemon. It's just a big honking beer. Yeah. It's a lot bigger than I thought. It's well carbonated. Wow. You're Look giving me most of it. Yeah, there's a bunch in here. <laughs> and you're getting the cookie. That's Ooh, right. that was a big chunk. <laughs> okay. So let's taste the unadulterated okay. beer. Cheers. First. Cheers, everybody. Smells good. Oh, it actually, it smells. That's actually really good. It smells, it smells good. It smells like, I haven't tasted it yet, but it smells malty. Mm -hmm. It does smell a little citrusy already. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, that lactose really does a job. Huh. That's really quite good. It's very desserty. 
That's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. That's actually that's actually quite good. <laughs> I wasn't sure either. I was like, okay, but um, wow, and it's a little pie like. I mean, I can get the you know the the, the pie the, the crust is in there. Right. The sweetness is in there. Now we don't right. have the lemon flavoring. Yet, right. But just as a base, I, it's not hot. Not at all. So you know, it's mm. not like fusel alcohols or anything like that. So you couldn't necessarily tell that it's a nine percent beer just by sipping on it. No, but it's this, not. It's not overly sweet. It finished at ten eighteen. Well, this is not as uh, alcoholic tasting as the. We just did a show on the Simcoe Two, Two Hearted Hard Club. Right. That beer tasted. Bigger, bigger than this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think but you're it's right. not. It's it's two percent lower. This is not syrupy sweet. Mm -mm. Um, wow, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Just two <laughs> row, a little special roast, and some lactose. It's not. It's not as bready as I want it to be. So maybe the next iteration, I would back off on the two row and 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 then level up on the special roast. Yeah. Because uh, you don't need 9% for this kind of thing, right. I don't think. But I would like more of the crust. Yep. I, I, I think there is a nice, that lactose, I like, the I like that level of lactose. Yeah, it's, it's, it's dead on. I mean, it's, it's, like I say, it's, like a, it's a dessert. So it, it's, mm -hmm. it's pie-like. It, it's, it's got a sweetness that's very enjoyable and pleasant, like you would... You would want it to be if you're having dessert, right? You want that. You want that sweet. But it's not. It's not like sickeningly, no. cloyingly sweet. I'm mm -hmm. surprised. I, I was afraid it was just going to be like a big, big yuck. You know. <laughs> kind of you know, thing. I, I'm remembering, um, and it wasn't yucky, but I'm remembering the sweetness in that sati that you made. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was yeah. very sweet. Yeah, that's what I remember. It's like yeah, it was this big, is sweet. Yeah, it was big. That was a lot. Yeah. This this is. Um, like so, its little brother. So I'm going to, I've got a little graduated thingy here. Okay. I'm going to start by adding like a, like a milliliter. I think that's a milliliter. Okay. Of the, the orange or the, uh, this is plain lemon. It's not Meyer lemon like we tasted on that audio show that we did. But just to give it a little. Well, I'm so dang blind. That's like one and a half. Oh, you could try that's that. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Just kind of, I'm going to swirl it around a little bit. So now Ooh. we've lemoned it up. Oh, now it smells, it does smell like a lemon custard Ah, now it smells like a... It l smells like a lemon custard pie. It sure does. <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing. That's really good. <laughs> that is just, that is just amazing. I would... Uh, I'd pay a dollar for that. I, I, I don't know that I would drink a pint of it, but I would drink a serving of this. I was gonna say it's not a. And be just you don't fun. go in and slug these down with shots of Jack Daniels. You just have a little of this. It's good. That's really. That's good. really good. It, it's um, it's dessert. The lemon. Um, I'm not crying. I'm just. It's allergy season here. <laughs> <laughs> but the lemon has a good it's a it's a nice desserty it's uh, amazing it's not you know furniture polish lemon no it's um it's it, it's it's like a lemon custard pie i wish there were more crust in it mm -hmm. what yeah um whatever they're doing at new glarus with their tart cherry tart mm -hmm. raspberry that's got the the crust. I mean, you yeah. taste that pie, and it's a darker beer too. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, there's some tweaking that could happen that would, mm. you know, if you're going to open a brewery, you would tweak this some more. Right. But it's still really good. And for a six pack, yeah. you can't go wrong. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And at nine nine percent, you could share this like one bottle between three or four friends. Right. And at the end of an evening. You know, with a with a dessert. Yeah, if you paired that with a piece of lemon pie or key lime pie. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? Boy. Okay. Good, good job. I was <laughs> I was ready for this to be a bad <laughs> a 
bad beer. I was all ready. I don't think I would add any more than what I, I, no, what I added. I was kind of playing with it. I mean, <laughs> play with your tincture. <laughs> it's, I was like, lemon, lemon vodka, man. You can make a... Mm. <laughs> That's for after. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I, I thought this was going to be a show where I would say, sorry, sorry you know, just... what, what do we do to fix it? <laughs> I, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say just, you know, like you say, I'd, I'd, I'd work to get more crust in it so that right. whether that's more special roast or a combination of different uh, biscuit malts. Right. There might be something there. There might be some, I don't know, maybe some dark Munich malt of some kind. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what would do it, but I like the, I like the special roast because it, it has that cracker. It mm -hmm. kind of goes to crackers. It goes to sourdough bread, which which gives you that strong indication of bread. Victory would be good too, I think. Mm -hmm. I think Victory also gives you a real nice cr crackery sort of flavor. So yeah, well. And I would lose like half a pound of the two row because <laughs> there's no need for it to yeah, be it's 9%. Pretty, it's pretty big. But I like the level of lactose though. Yeah. That's I mean, pretty good. No, no complaints. No. Uh, dang, James. Wow. <laughs> So you've had me drink an 8% beer, basically, and now a 9% beer. <laughs> Maybe we're done for the day. <laughs> no, we've got that scotch tasting. Oh, God. Oh, we've got that Everclear tasting. <laughs> That's right. We're, we're flavoring Everclear in different ways. <laughs> tincture. Everclear tinctures. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Don't do this, kids. All, All right. right. Cheers, everybody. Happy brewing. Come and visit us online. At basicbrewing.com, you can find archive lists of our audio and video podcasts on home brewing. You can also find our DVDs and our brewer's logbook, where you can track and log up to 50 batches of beer. That's pretty good. That's that's very that's delightful. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. That's, that's good. Just knock me over with a feather. <laughs> no kidding.